Ready? So my name is Aditya Ramamurthy and I'm a co-founder of this company called RAPL, which stands for Rapid Learning or Rapid Learner. And uh, what I'm about to show you is an app that we developed very specific to the retail employee. And how do you get your retail employees to learn everything that they need to learn, right? So the fundamental uh, sort of question we're trying to address is this. Who is your best employee? And if you had a really good employee, what is the value to your organization if all your empl employees were just as good? Right, so for example, in a retail store format, you have one employee who's following your SOPs very stringently on an ongoing basis. You have another employee who's very good at customer service, for example. Another employee who knows all your product categories really, really well, for example. So how do you make sure all your employees are on the same page and all of them have the same level of competency across these various areas? So this is the end objective of the app itself, getting everyone to a high level of competency uh, for your store. So why is this important? One, your front line is actually representing your brand to the end customer. And two, I think today in a world where a lot of uh, transactions are happening online, etc., one of your biggest assets in a store is your employee, right? So your employee is someone who can actually advise a customer on a potential sale and so on. So what are the challenges today to getting employee competencies as high as we're discussing right now? So here are some of the challenges. I'll sort of go through these briefly. I don't think everybody at the back can read. But number one is one-time training does not guarantee learning or knowledge retention. So what we've seen in a lot of retailers is your typical training modules you know, starts off with getting a bunch of people together and training them on your SOPs or customer service or whatever it might be. Now, after you've trained them, if you go back and ask them questions or ask them to enact a customer service scenario three or four weeks later, each person does it differently. So the retention of that knowledge tends to be very, very poor. So how do we increase retention of knowledge post uh, your actual training? Two, onboarding new staff is a painstaking process in high attrition roles. Everybody knows that in uh, retail, a lot of the frontline staff is seeing a lot of churn on an ongoing basis. Right? There's lack of visibility into the knowledge gaps in the organization. You don't know what people don't know within your own organization. And sometimes identifying those gaps helps you create training modules that are specific to those areas. Of course, there's short product life cycles, frequent refreshes, require quick updates, and so on. So for example, if you're an apparel retailer, you'll have your spring summer collection, your autumn winter collection, and all your store staff needs to understand these pieces uh, each of, you know, in, in detail. So let me um, get into what the app actually looks like. So I'm going to show you an example of the app from an end user employee standpoint, as well as from an owner standpoint at the back end. So this is uh, what the employee sees when they open the app. So the first thing they're presented with are the topics that are most important for them to learn. Right? So in this case, for this particular cu um, uh, customer of ours, engaging the customer, learning the most effective customer engagement techniques is very important for all their employees. And two, understanding the product knowledge itself is also very important. And if you notice, the, top, the topic on top has a little number in red which says five which means that employee has five scenarios to attempt today in customer engagement. So if I were to click on the customer engagement topic, what I'd then be presented with are actual real life scenarios that occur in the store on an ongoing basis. So here are some examples. A customer walks into the store, but you're already busy with another customer. What is the right thing to do? Now, this is something that you might have trained your employees in an in-person training multiple times, but not everybody behaves in the same manner when it comes to the actual scenario. So what I would do as an employee is select one of these options below the scenario presented to me and say, if a customer walks up to me and you're busy with another customer, maybe I'll tell another salesperson to attend to that customer. Let's say I select that as an answer. The app then asks you, how confident are you of your answer? Are you very confident or little confident or sort of somewhat sure? So let's say I say I'm very, very confident of this answer. The app then presents to you the fact that whether you're right or wrong, why you're wrong, what the correct answer is, and why that answer is correct. So in this case, you know, I've selected the wrong answer. It sort of shows me that I've selected the wrong answer. This is the reason that answer is wrong. Here's the correct answer, and here's the reason why the correct answer is correct. So now what the app has understood is that for Aditya, he has responded to a situation incorrectly with very high confidence. He's basically saying he's going to behave a particular way with the customer, which is absolutely wrong, and he's very confident that that is correct. So this is a very, very big problem for retailers, where your end salesperson, customer service person believes in something that is fundamentally wrong. So what the app now does is it begins to understand for each employee what are those areas where they're fundamentally misinformed. 
and it continues to send this scenario so this scenario will reappear on my phone two or three days later until the point that I select the correct response with a very high level of confidence so think of this as the manner in which uh, you know the toppers in colleges and schools actually study for their exams right they don't memorize something the day before the exam but they're constantly revising areas that they're not particularly good at until they master the entire topic so what the app is doing is for your entire employee base it's figuring out that Aditya is poor in customer service, Arun is poor in your SOP, somebody else is not that good in something else, and keep sending them information in that area until they become really good at it. So that is how the app works on the front end. What we've also done is we've added elements of uh, what is known as gamification, which motivates and encourages employees to actually use this app. So when you're looking at your typical retail worker in a store, you know they use WhatsApp all the time, YouTube all the time, what is going to motivate them to actually learn? So we have badges, we have leaderboards that you can set up. So in this case, this customer has set up a leaderboard. Every month you see who are the top learners within the organization, who understands SOP, customer service, etc., the best and so on. And uh, here's an example of a badge which says flawless, uh, flawless finisher, which means that you've gotten all scenarios correct in a topic without making a single mistake. So we found that these type of motivational, encouraging sort of hooks and nudges really help the end retail worker uh, use the app on an ongoing basis. The other really important thing which uh, you know, is very critical in an Indian context is that sometimes your employees are speaking to customers in English, but their reading comprehension is not great in English. So if they chose the language of their choice in the app, the entire content in the app converts to that language. Um, so we have uh, you know, retailers, we have QSR quick serve restaurants who are using this across their chains in India. Where in Tamil Nadu you will find people using it in Tamil, in uh, Kerala you will find people using it in Malayalam and so on. So it's very, very context specific in that sense. So if you notice here the entire scenario is in Hindi because I've, I've picked Hindi. So the idea is we tell our retail employees that there's only one thing for you to do from a learning perspective. Every day you spend two or three minutes learning. What you do is you attempt these scenarios on the app. You make sure you're always in green, don't go to orange and red. Orange and red means I've stopped using the app. So that's what we track. So what does it look like from the back end, from a management view, right? So now assume that you have 100 outlets, 20 outlets, whatever it might be, what are you now going to see? So <coughs> this, these are the metrics that you see on the back end, the first one being activation, which refers to how many of your employees have actually activated the app. So for all of our customers, we ensure that within the first week or so, 90 or above percentage of your employees have actually downloaded the app on Android Play Store and activated it. The second is, how regularly are people using this app? So again, we want a regularity of 80 or 85% and beyond. So are they learning on a regular basis and so on? The third thing is actual topic sort of performance. So in this case, uncovering customer needs is the name of a topic. And you can see how various stores are performing on this particular topic. Which store understands customer engagement the best? I can drill down, I can click on a particular store and actually look at who are all the employees within the store, which are the employees that are learning the fastest, which are the employees that are most certain about their answers, which are the employees that are consistently getting the same thing wrong over and over again with very high confidence. And then you can sort of take action on that if you so choose. The next thing is for a particular topic, like I said earlier, you have different scenarios slated out. This is a live example from one of our customers. So they have about 15 SOP related scenarios that everybody in their stores needs to understand absolutely clearly. So if you look at this, what I've done is a reverse sort on the performance. So I've asked the question of which SOP scenario do people misunderstand the most so that I can focus my training on that. So the, the scenario is when should you inform the headquarters regarding a customer complaint if a customer complaint is registered today. And if you click on that particular scenario, sorry, I'm not sure what happened. If you click on the particular scenario, it shows you what the right answer is, which is the product complaint form must be submitted on the same day as the complaint was registered. But if you look at the options that people have selected, 85 times they've said the mail about the complaint must be sent within 24 hours, which is the wrong answer. And this is something that has been taught to them over and over again in actual sort of training in the store itself. So what happens now on this app is this scenario will go to those people who are getting it wrong over and over again until they actually begin to get it right. 
So this is uh, an app that is very, I don't know how many of you have heard of this app called Duolingo. It's a language learning app. It's very, very uh, uh, popular worldwide. It's a free app. You can learn Spanish, you can learn German, whatever you want. Basically what it does is it keeps sending you scenarios, identifying where you're weak, and then it has an artificial intelligence engine which sort of sends you more information in your areas of weakness. What our app does is something very, very similar but focused on retail employees and the knowledge that retail employees need to have. So this is what we do. Um, these, these are, I you know, a, a brief summary of, of the app itself. It's bite-sized learning. It's not heavy videos. It's not a lot of stuff that your employees will complain about, you know, it's taking too much of my data. It's very, very light. Uh, it's personalized. Each employee gets uh, scenarios presented in areas of their weakness. It's constantly reinforced. It's gamified, of course, it's multilingual, and finally, it's sort of monitored as well. So I thought I'd also just share a few interesting insights that we've seen from some of our customers here. Um, one, very often in retail, we don't sort of let employees go, right? Only when an employee leaves the company do we actually start to scramble and look for a replacement for that employee. Sometimes our customers are using this knowledge to determine who are their weakest employees. If somebody does not understand customer service and your product, and he's been in the same position for three months facing the customer, something has to be done about that, right? Either you have to train him or you have to replace him. So that kind of insight is what this dashboard actually delivers to you. Another interesting insight that we found is that people who are high learners on this app, the moment they start to learn, their learning progress begins to dim. It means that they're considering moving out and considering quitting. So before in your company where you didn't have a view of who's going to be with my company next month and the month after, because after they get their salaries, they may just leave. Today, I have some indication that his level of effort on this app is reduced. And hence, maybe he's considering something else and he's not particularly happy about his role. So these are um, some of the sort of quick insights that we've seen across customers. We, we do this for Apache. Um, Mr. Suhail Satar was very kind to have us as uh, he was our first customer, in fact, in Chennai. And we started about six months ago. And uh, we made a lot of strides since then. We also work with other large apparel brands. We work with QSR brands uh, that have 1,000 plus outlets across India today. And we're working with much smaller uh, retail chains as well, with five or 10 stores and so on. So uh, this is what we do. Uh, I know I went through this really, really quickly, but I thought I'd leave a few minutes for uh, questions.